Welcome to Starting Lineup for Week 31 with Andrew Wiebe. I'm Jason Skeeney, back in the New York studios. It's good to be home. First off, I want to ask the fans out there, how are you doing in Fantasy Cup? Are you still in it after two rounds? I am. We're not sure if Andrew is, but I assume he is. Andrew, a couple names to throw out here as far as the injuries and suspensions go. Nathan Sturgis might be on a lot of teams still. Uh, Diego Valeri, Juan Agadello, give me some updates. Well, Sturgis, he's on your team. Put him on the bench. He is suspended for this week. Diego Valeri has been slowly working his way back. Remember, they play on Friday at home against Colorado. I think he's a guy you can have on your team. Look an hour or so ahead when those lineups come out. See where he'll be and make a decision from there. Juan Agadello, probably not a starter this week. Still struggling with injury. Definitely not a sure bet. To be fair, Valeri coming off the bench the last two weeks scored a goal in both of them. So he's definitely helping your fantasy team. Anyway, one thing to keep an eye out, a lot of guys on yellow card warning. They pick up a yellow card this week, they're out next week, so you might want to keep that in mind as you look to build your team for the future. We're going to get into uh, midweek games here. A question coming in, Andrew, about the Champions League games. How are they going to affect the weekend? What are your thoughts here? Well, I don't think they're going to have a ton of effect. Look at LA. Bruce Arena played the kids. They got that 1-0 win. All the starters should be rested for this MLS matchup. Montreal traveled cross-country, but that was Tuesday. They're not training today on Thursday. They should be well-rested. In Sporting Kansas City, I think they'll be fine as well. You may want to take a look at those two later teams, but uh, overall, those guys should be in your lineup. All right, we're going to get to the fantasy questions from Damien. He asks, MLS team, you're willing to start three players from this week. Yeah, I'm going all in on the New England Revolution. Their matchup is good. They're at home against D.C. United, but it's a bargain team as well. Andrew Farrell, Kellen Rowe, and Diego Fagundes. You can pick up all three of those guys for less than $18 million. Yeah, Kellen Rowe has been really uh, doing well in fantasy lately. The other team that I would say to look at, the Portland Timbers, not as easy of a matchup against the Colorado Rapids, but they have plenty of guys who are contributing. Darlington Nagby, Rodney Wallace, Diego Valeri, Will Johnson, all guys that I think are okay this week, assuming that Valeri is in the starting lineup or he'll play at I'd say at least a half in this game. Uh, moving on, Tom asks, the best defender for less than $5 million? Yeah, I think it's going to be Andrew John Baptiste in this one. You mentioned Portland, Colorado, a difficult matchup. But look, he has been very, very consistent lately, only one time since June 19 with less than three points. And he's gotten 13 in his last two games. That's a good investment. All right, the other guys I'd throw out here, Andrew Farrell, uh, Chris Tierney from New England. Um, they're playing D.C. at home, both at 4.9. And then Kofi Sarkoti, Houston has not been a very consistent consistent team, but they have Chivas who are not very good on the road. Um, I think you can go with Sarkoti there who's only 4.8. Moving up to the midfield, Johnny says, is this the week to pick up fantasy captain Zuzi? <laughs> yeah, it's captain fantasy Graham Zuzi. So uh, I think it is uh, a decent week. To yeah, I think up. it's a good week too. In two matchups against TFC this year, 12 points combined. They beat TFC 3-0 in their last meeting. But on the road, Sporting Kansas City hasn't been particularly good of late. Three straight 1-0 losses. I still think he's a good pickup for you. A couple comparables there, Javier Morales and uh, Mike McGee. I think this week, Morales probably the better bet, but they've got a buy coming up. Mike McGee or Graham Zussi, it probably is at that price point, but I certainly think Zussi would be a good investment. Yeah, KC beat uh, Toronto in KC in their last meeting, 3-0. And then when you look at their schedule coming up at Toronto, Philly, at Columbus, at Houston, and then home against D.C., those are some teams that Graham Zussi can score some points against. Staying in the midfield, Jake asks, should I drop Donovan this weekend or will he see playing time? I think he's going to see playing time. Bruce Arena arrested him, kept him off the playing field, asked about his status before the CCL match. He said he was confident that he was going to be available very soon. How do you read into that? Well, Bruce says you can interpret it any way you want. I interpret that to mean that Landon Donovan will be in this lineup against Seattle ready and primed to get you some fantasy points. Yeah, two big weekends in a row for the Galaxy, Seattle and then Portland next week. Um, I think it's a little bit risky because we don't know the injury and Bruce Arena is very coy about that stuff. Um, but if you have him, play him. I'd maybe not buy him this week yep. uh, if he wasn't already on your team. Next question coming in from Richard. He says... Moffitt to Seattle. What? How will this affect Seattle's midfield? Any chance of Moffitt starting if Seattle continues to get the win? Well, uh, this week, I don't think there's any chance. I think Siggy Schmidt's going to stick with that combo in Andy Rose and Ozzy Alonso. Very effective against RSL. 
But Moffitt's got a tough road to climb here. You've got Shawry Joseph currently injured. Brad Evans, of course, dealing with some niggling knocks. That's going to be a competition he has to win. I don't know whether he's going to be a great investment going forward. He's certainly one to watch, though. Yeah, I think it won't be consistent with Moffitt. That's the issue here because... I think Ziggy Schmidt likes him and Alonzo if they want to go more defensive, but probably Alonzo and Evans once he's healthy if they want to attack more. I don't think Moffitt's going to be a consistent contributor in fantasy. Last question coming in from Ricky Cook. This is his stacked team. He wants to know who do I take for captain. Graham Zuzzi, Brad Davis, Javier Morales, Marco DeVaio, Federico Higuain, or Robbie Keane. Decisions, decisions, Andrew. Yeah, a little bit difficult there. I think it's an easy one for me, though. I think it's Federico Higuain. He's got the points recently, 12 points in his last match. Of course, suspended for three matches. He should be well-rested, but before that, 16 and 15. He has the most points in the game for a reason. He would be my captain this week. All right, that's Team Weeby. I'm going to disagree with him here. I think you're going to go with either DeVaio or Robbie Keane. Look, Keane has a tough matchup against the Seattle Sounders, but in the end, he is the star here. If you were playing fantasy football, he's Peyton Manning. You don't sit Peyton Manning because he's playing against a tough defense. You probably spend a high draft pick on him. He's in your lineup. That's what I think of Robbie Keane. He is going to score points no matter who he plays. You put him on the field, and if you put him on the field, you might as well captain him. So I'm saying Keane or potentially DeVaio at home. The upside there is potentially two goals from either of these guys. That's Team Seguini. So which way are you voting? All right, that's all we have for starting lineup this week. Next week, I am going to be away. European vacation? Well, it's work, but also a vacation, I hope. Team Weeby is going to be handling the episode next week. You can catch that on Thursday. Thanks for joining us on Starting Lineup.